Have you ever heard the story of Napoleon's penis? After passing away whilst in exile on the island of St Helena in 1821, it's believed the doctor who carried out the autopsy, Francesco Ottomarchi, sliced off Bonaparte's bits. History is full of examples of our fascination with the body parts of famous people. But is this right or wrong? Shouldn't we let people rest in peace? The journey Napoleon's apparent manhood has taken over the last 200 years is quite incredible. From the doctor, it was given to a Corsican priest, Paul Vignali, who was the man who gave Napoleon his last rites. Eventually, after passing through the priest's family, it was sold to an American rare books dealer, Abraham Rosenbach, in 1924. A few years later, in 1927, it went on display at the Museum of French Art in New York, which is the only time to date it's been shown to the public. Eventually, in 1977, it was sold at auction in Paris for $3,000 to Dr. John Latimer, America's leading urologist. Dr. Latimer chose to remove it from circulation as he thought the mockery surrounding the artefact was disrespectful. Buying it allowed him to keep it away from prying eyes and it is still owned by the Latimer family in their home in New Jersey, many miles from the battlefields where Napoleon Bonaparte earned his reputation. So, were Latimer's actions morally right? Should human remains ever be displayed to the general public? Is what the Latimer family have even genuine in the first place? What are your thoughts? And whilst we have your attention, make sure you click this button to subscribe to us. See you next time, folks.